Hey, what's going on guys? Here I am again with another excited tutorial and in this tutorial I created a very basic authentication application using Node.js MySQL by the help of ChatGPT. As you can see here, I have my login page and here I can put my username and password. But before logging in and putting my username and password, you have to first register yourself. So here in this link, I'm going to click on register. Then here I'm going to put an email here. Um, for example, I'm going to put you at gmail.com. And then you have to give it a password. So for example, I'm going to give it one, two, three, four. Then we're going to click on register and we are registered now. And if I go and put my email and password here, you at gmail.com, then my password, which was one, two, three, four, then click on login. We are going to be redirected to a page by the name of dashboard. And then I can click on log out. It will log me out. If the user put the wrong email and password, they are not going to be redirected to anywhere. For example, here I'm going to put hello at gmail.com, then the password of 1234, then I'm going to click on login. As you can see, I get redirected to nowhere. This is our application, and I'm going to show you how you can create this using Node.js and MySQL by the help of ChatGPT. But before doing that, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. Here I am in ChatGPT and I already searched for create an authentication system protecting a dashboard page using register and login pages using Node.js, Bootstrap, MySQL, EGS and, and, and an encryption method without bcrypt. For some reason, when I use bcrypt, it does not work in my machine. So I asked ChatGPT to use some other packages rather than using bcrypt. Then generate the code for EGS with bootstrap code and MySQL database in backend. Name the database as authentication and name the table as users. And make sure you put the same database name and table in node.js code. And also show me the folder structure needed for this project. Then I'm going to press enter and wait for ChatGPT to generate all the needed code for us. And after generating all the codes, I'm going to scroll up to the top to read what it says. It asked me to install all, the, all these packages, Express, MySQL, EGS, Body Parser, and Crypto. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go in Visual Studio Code, and there I'm going to go and click on Terminal, New Terminal, and paste the code here, and press Enter to install all these packages for us. I'm going to go in a chat GPT and we're gonna create this folder structure till these packages gets installed. I'm gonna click on this option to create a new folder by the name of public, then press enter. And in public, we're gonna create two folders, CSS and JavaScript. I'm gonna click on this again, CSS, and we're gonna need JavaScript too. Make sure to click on public, then click on this, create a folder by the name of JS. Then here we need two files, a style.css, I'm gonna copy its name and go here, create a file by the name of a style.css. And in JS, we're gonna need a script.js. So I'm gonna copy its name and come here, press on this, create a file of a script.js. Then we're gonna create a folder of views Make sure to click outside of this and then go to folder, click on this and create a folder by the name of views. And in views, we're gonna need, a, need three files, login.ejs, register.ejs, and the last one is going to be dashboard.ejs. And 
we are done with this, next we're going to create app.js. So I'm going to copy its name, then go to Visual Studio Code, make sure to click here. Then I'm going to create this file as app.js. And we are needing to create package.json, which already when we installed the packages, it gets installed. And we're going to need a file of ignore, git ignore to ignore uh, some files while uploading it to GitHub. While installing those packages, it automatically created package.json and package.log.json. Then we're going to copy the code of app.js for app.js file. I'm going to go in app.js and paste the code here and make sure to change the database and the database password. So here for my database, I saved no password, so I'm going to get rid of this password. Then we're going to go and scroll down. And here we have login.js. We're going to copy the code for that too and come to login.js and paste the code here. And register, copy the code, come to here, go to register.ajs and paste the code. And after that, we're going to go and... Uh, copy the code of dashboard.js. I'm going to go in dashboard.js and paste the code for that too. Then we're going to need the code for style.css. Copy the code. Go to public in CSS and there in style.css paste all the codes there. And at the end, it tells me to make sure to change your MySQL password. We already did it. And then I'm going to get uh, close all these files and I'm going to run this. To run this node, app, uh, node project, you need to write node app.js. But here it gives me an error by the name of unknown database authentication. We haven't created the database for this application. So in ChatGPT, I come here and type generate the MySQL code and wait for ChatGPT to code, generate the code. We need to wait for a while and it generated. So I'm going to copy its code and make sure to open WAMP. I'm using WAMP to interact with MySQL database and here you have to click on this and open PHP my admin. Uh, my username is root and my password is nothing so I'm going to click on go then click on SQL and paste the codes here and then click on go to generate these codes it will create a database of authentication with a table of users refresh your page here we have the database of authentication with the table of users here in ChatGPT, it basically gives us a little explanation about our database and it told us to use in real world, use Bcrypt rather than using crypto, which uh, ChatGPT generated for us. And to run this application, we're going to type node app.js. Now we have our database. We shouldn't have any problem. And it runs it on port 3000. I'm going to go in my browser and type HTTP localhost port 3000 and press enter. And there we go. We have our login. And here I'm going to give it a username of sajadmarie at gmail.com, a password of 123, click on login, nothing should happen. Because we haven't registered this uh, username. And if I go in my database and cho uh, check users table, it should have saved nothing. And if I come here in register and type sajadmarie at gmail.com with the password of 123, register that and then come here and put the same username and password and click on login here we get redirected to the dashboard and then i can log it out if i come here click on log out it will log me out and if i manually go and search for dashboard dashboard sorry we get nothing because it's protected and if i come here in my login page and type something else some other username, for example, sajotnuri uh, at gmail.com with some other password. If I click on login, nothing gonna happen. 